Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 26 of the Adobe Animate Tutorial Series. So today we're going to look at button symbols. So button symbols are rather like interactive symbols rather than uh, animation symbols. So I'm going to right click, convert this into a symbol and then select button right here and press OK. So what this does is once I double click you can see that the timeline is actually very different from the original time set right here. So up is the default state. I'm going to insert a keyframe right here and then on over state, I'm going to change this into a different color. So let's say something like, let's go to the properties and change this on to uh, select the color first. Let me select this and select the color right here. All right, so that's the over and insert keyframe right here and then select uh, something like green and hit. So insert keyframe on hit as well. So hit is something where uh, you will actually access the button. So I'm going to uh, create a hit option right here, down below. So you can see that I got my up, over, down, and hit. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to test the movie. So I'm going to go over and test the scene right here. And then you can see that nothing happens right as of now. But if I were to move my mouse down, you can see that the button changes. And if I were to click it, you can see that it changes into green. So remember that in the hit section, we actually kept a shape at the bottom and that uh, shape is not there anymore. What happens is that if I take my mouse over there onto that area, you can see that the button activates. So that's what the hit area is. So it acts as a trigger uh, for the button to be activated. So I can take my mouse over there and click it and you can see that it'll work as a hit area. So if I want a larger hit area, then I'll just need to click the hit area. And if I avoid the hit area, then only the area with the visible button becomes interactive. So this can be used for quite a lot of interactive elements inside of Adobe Anime. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.